What's up everybody? I'm Patrick Kelly and I got a question for you. You ever get motion sickness? You know, that kind of just stomach churning, you gotta throw up, you gotta get to a restroom like right, right now. That's what we're talking about today. A couple different things can trigger it. Being on a boat, being on a turbulent airplane, being on a car and reading is another really common one. But they all boil down to the same thing sensory conflict, or at least that's what a lot of doctors think is going on. Sensory conflict is exactly what it sounds like. Your brain is getting a lot of different signals from the different senses in your body and doesn't really know what to do with them. It's getting mixed messages from all your different senses. You can probably think of the big senses that contribute to this. Your eyes are getting a bunch of new images and the touch receptors around your body can't quite make sense of that new balance point. But the sense that people always forget contributes to proprioception or where your body thinks it is in space and time is hearing. But to understand a little bit better why the ear contributes so much to balance, I'm gonna bring in my friend AJ. Hey everybody. Hey Pat. Hey. So, the best way to explain sound is with slinkies. Now, when you make sound, you push air molecules out of your mouth in a pressure wave. That pressure wave transfers through the air by pushing other air molecules in line with it. As they pass one by one, they allow sound to propagate all the way to our ear. When sound reaches our ear, it causes the eardrum to vibrate, which then in turn vibrates three small bones inside the ear. We call these the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. Those then vibrate a fluid in the cochlea, which transfers to nerves and allows our brains to register sound. But how does that translate into motion sickness? Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of good news first. If you have the lower end noise canceling headphones like these, they take advantage of passive noise canceling technology. They just put something over your ear and block out some of the sound. Your ears can still hear and your brain is doing just fine with that. Where you might start running into some of those problems with nausea is with active noise canceling technology. These are headphones that analyze the ambient noise around you and produce a sound wave that cancels out that ambient noise. This might make for a fun time to totally immerse yourself in the greatest hits of Aaron Carter, but you just cut off your sense of hearing from the outside world. That will be the most endearing reference ever if people get it. So now instead of hearing the sounds of the coffee shop around you, you're hearing a noise that really makes no sense to your brain. And so the sensory conflict theory comes back in. Your ears are producing a signal that doesn't match up with what your eyes and the rest of your body are feeling, so there's your nausea. Unfortunately, not a ton of research has been done on this topic, so we really don't know how many people this kind of technology is going to affect. Not that I could afford $350 headphones anyway. Thanks for watching this video, and if you liked AJ's explanation and want to see more demos like these, make sure to go check out his channel, Live Lab, which will be right around here. Otherwise, have fun and be good. See you see next, you next time. time.